Cougar fans, welcome in. Jason Shepard along with the head baseball coach at BYU, Mike Littlewood. Coach, it doesn't seem like it was that long ago we were actually playing games in 2018. Does the season sneak up on you? Oh, it sure does. Uh, coach Bratch, our, our pitching coach, and I were talking this morning, and he made the comment. He goes, man, I can't believe the season's <laughs> here. And I'm like, you can't. Man, I can't, I can't believe it either, It's uh, especially looking outside with the snow. Um, but we got back from St. George uh, this Friday, Saturday, had a great workout, saw some grass and dirt. So we're ready to go, even though it, it did sneak up on us. Well, and uh, the team's going to be heading down to Arizona for this weekend. We'll get to the series against Northwestern coming up in, in just a few minutes. But I wanted to ask you about this team. And it's certainly the case every year there's always turnover. There's new guys coming in. You have 14 players returning from last year's roster. And I believe 20 new players when you count players that are, are new to the team. You have returned missionaries. There are a lot of new faces. Who are some of the new faces that Cougar fans will uh, be able to get excited about this year? Well, maybe not new faces, but return missionaries. Uh, Danny Jelilich, who didn't get a whole lot of time his, his freshman year, 6'4", um, throws the ball 95 from the outfield. Uh, just our best runner, best thrower. He'll lead off for us and play center field. Uh, just love the kid. Um, He'd, he'd fight you for looking at him the wrong way. And those, are, those are the kind of guys I love. He's also the guy that uh, that had absolutely no problem getting back to his uh, playing shape right oh, after yeah. the mission. He's got a big league body. There's no doubt about it. So we call those airport players. So <laughs> walk through the airport and they're, they're pretty legit. Uh, ja or, uh, Jackson Clough um, is going to play second base for us, a return missionary. Play a little bit of third, a little bit of second. So those aren't new guys, but they're kind of faces that, that maybe some Cougar fans wouldn't really remember. Jared Lesser, uh, a transfer from uh, Eastern Utah, Utah State, is, is a pitcher for us. Going to be a starter or maybe uh, a late inning guy for us. He's 89, 92-ish, uh, three pitches for strikes. Got a bulldog mentality, just, just really, really like him. Uh, Easton Walker's back off his mission, help us out of the pen. Uh, so those are some guys that, that uh, I'm really excited about right now. Carson Matthews, freshman. Uh, just had a meeting with him in my office telling him to relax. I mean, he's, uh, he's going to start a shortstop for us, and he's kind of going through those freshman growing pains where you kind of wonder, what, what does coach think about me? And uh, he struck out probably about 13 times this last Friday and Saturday down in St. George. But he's going to be our guy. I like the way he plays. He's, he's from Southern California, plays great defense. Uh, he's always on point. He's a leader on the field as a freshman. Um, he just needs to take a couple deep breaths and realize that this is a fun game most of the time. And, and uh, so those are some. I think overall, uh, our fans will really like the like the way we play. We're dynamic, and uh, you know, eight eight out of the nine guys in our lineup can run a little bit. Um, so it's going to be a fun year. Speaking of the running, you, you said uh, you and I were talking the other day, and you said it may not necessarily steal more bases than we did last year, but in terms of out of the box, you may be able to push a single to a double or a first to third. That's the type of, of speed you think you have on this team. Yeah, I mean, we want to be aggressive, but we want to be intelligently aggressive. That's what we tell our guys. We don't want to run into outs. Um, which we did a little bit last year. Balls in the dirt, you know, we're looking to, we're looking to take the next base and balls in the dirt. We, we work on that all the time, getting reads, which way the ball bounces. Uh, we're definitely looking double out of the box, looking for bobbles from the outfield. Uh, we, wanna, we wanna push that a little bit and force, force the issue with the outfielders. And uh, I think we'll do that. And, and we've proven already, uh, ball hit the left field with a guy on first base. We've run in, in, in the face of the left fielder and kind of surprise him. And that's what we wanna do, but we don't wanna run ourselves into outs. So when we were talking like that, we're not going to have double the steal attempts we had last year because I just don't I don't believe in in just running just to run for the sake of it because because you're fast guys are are too good at this level um, their pitchers are really good at holding guys on we talk about times from pitchers um, we time everything in baseball and so if a pitcher from the, his first movement from the set position to when the ball hits the glove is is a one four we're going to try to run on that if he's which most guys are lower than that and so it's really tough to run unless you have a quick guy. Then you add the pop time of a catcher, which is going to be 2-0. You have to kind of factor all those things in. So we might hit and run a little bit, drag bun a little bit more. Uh, I know we're going to have to produce runs and, and try to force the issue, as opposed to the years we had Bronson Larson and Colton Shaver, where we could just hope for the three-run home run, like right. you know, like uh, Earl Weaver used to do. So let's talk about the pitching. Having a, a guy like Jordan Wood being able to come back and kind of anchor this staff. Give everybody an idea of, of what you're looking for from this rotation. And then you mentioned a, a couple of the relievers, maybe towards the back end of, of yeah. the pen. Well, the, the one major change we're trying to make this year, a conversion, I guess it would be, is moving Drew Zimmerman from the, the closer role, freshman All-American last year as a closer, uh, where he sat at 92, 93, sometimes 94 miles an hour, put him in as a starter, and, and now his velo drops a little, his velocity drops 89, 91. He's really got to locate his fastball better. That's the one conversion we're trying to make. So 
Yeah, Jordan Wood, Woody will, will start game one for us. Um, he's, he's, you could kind of tell, he didn't play summer ball, and he came in in the fall and he's a little bit behind, uh, but you could tell he was getting his work in, and then worked really hard over the four week break we had in December, came back in January, and he's like a new guy. I mean, this is like the Jordan Wood that, that you, you want 35 guys, guys like that on your team. Just, the, just what he brings every single day. He'll, he'll let guys know when they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing, he'll help guys. He'll, he'll be the anchor, there's no doubt about it. Justin Sterner is going to start game two for us. Justin had a great summer um, up in Chico in the summer league. He'll, he'll sit like 90-92. Uh, secondary stuff's coming along, but, but uh, he's got a really hard riding fastball. We talk about spin rate nowadays. He's got a high spin rate on his fastball, which means to most hitters it looks like it's going to drop, but it, it kind of maintains its height. It's still going to drop, obviously, so I don't want any, <laughs> any physics <laughs> teachers to go, hey, the ball doesn't stay. We know that, but to a hitter, it looks like it's going to drop three inches and it might drop two inches. And so people just really can't square up his fastball. Drew can be really good for us if he can locate his, I mean, Drew Zimmerman has got a wipeout slider. The two other guys in the mix for a starting position or starting spot in the rotation are Blake in a way. Uh, we know what he's going to, he's, right. he's a strike thrower, great change up, uh, just a competitor. And then Jared Lesser. I think those are the five guys that will end up starting three or four games. Uh, our midweek games are outrageous this year. So midweek games are going to be really important for us. And it'll work itself out. I mean, whoever, we know Woody's going to be there. We know Sterner's going to be there. Uh, those other three guys will probably battle for that third starting spot. This year, the, the team motto, mantra is all in. Why, why was that important for, for this year's team? Well, I think in, in athletics, I, it can humble you really, really quickly. We came off the, that regional year two years ago. We're feeling pretty good about ourselves and had a lot of returners coming back. Um, I just felt like, this, last year we weren't all in, um, and this year that's the one thing we want to do is get everybody on the same page, everybody with the same goal. Last year we had some factions here and there, um, uh, some underperforming guys, and then it, it just it just was a bad situation where everybody's going in their own. It, the culture wasn't great, and so this year was like all in seemed like the right thing to do. Just no matter what we do, individually, collectively as a team, we're going to do it the same way. We want to. We have the same goals, and that's and to me that's all in. We just uh, we're going to give everything we've got every single day. I've been around you long enough to know how you're going to answer this question. I'll go ahead and ask it anyway. Uh, Preseason poll had you guys picked sixth. What are your thoughts on that? Well, uh, the two years that we won the league, we were picked I think fifth and sixth. Yeah. So that doesn't. And we were talking about this earlier. I literally have not opened that document from the West and looked at it, so I don't know how it's ranked. I just know that people have said that we're ranked sixth, and uh, I think last year being ranked first or pick to win it, put a little bit of added pressure, and I don't, I don't really get that, but it put added pressure on, on the guys to, to uh, kind of back that up. But um, I feel comfortable at sixth. It, I, it doesn't really matter to me where we are because usually it doesn't, it, it's never how it was. Yeah. And in fact, I shouldn't let this out of the bag, but I have Coach Herring do all, all of our <laughs> ratings and all that stuff. So I don't even look at that stuff, and it doesn't bother me if we're last or first or, or in the middle of the pack. It just doesn't bother me. Like I said, I knew exactly what he was going to say. I knew, I knew that's what he was going to say. <laughs> all right, as we mentioned, uh, the team beginning the season this week, uh, you've got three against Northwestern, then you're going to stay over an extra day and then take on Cal next Monday. But let's focus on, on Northwestern. In a lot of ways, they're like you, you know, where the team didn't perform the way you would have wanted last year, Northwestern's coming in in a very similar situation. They didn't have the season that they would have liked. What are your thoughts on taking on Northwestern the first three games? Well, great conference. I mean, the Big Ten, they, they're, they're playing great teams week in and week out. So, um, you know, they're playing Indiana, they're playing Purdue, and they're playing Michigan, Michigan State. They're used to playing really good competition. So whether they have a down year or not doesn't really mean a whole lot to us. They, they do have three starting pitchers returning. We'll see two left-handers probably on Saturday, um, and they, they return a bunch of uh, position players as well. Coach Bradshaw scouts the hitters, Coach, Coach Pratt scouts, scouts the pitchers, and so they're in the process of finishing up that scouting report. We'll, we'll deliver that to the team. But it's gonna be a battle. I mean, um, fortunately, we've been outside uh, a lot, and I, they probably haven't, and hopefully that's an advantage. Last year it was not. Um, it, it, it's, opening day's always just, it's special. Um, those first two or three innings will kind of like, you get your breath and you can lower your shoulders a little bit and go, okay, this is what it feels like again to play. 
competitively. So we're really looking forward to it. But um, and then Cal's pretty good too on, yeah, on Monday. Absolutely. And this year you can listen to the games on BYU Radio and or ESPN 960. I'm really excited. And I hope now you've signed off on this. I hope you know this. Oh good. Uh, I'm traveling. With, I'm traveling with you guys. Oh you are. Yes. That was approved. I, this was he he approved this. <laughs> so but you can listen to the games on BYU Radio and uh, and uh, ESPN 960. Uh, I'll be on the call. Tucket Slade will uh, will join me as uh, as the analyst on the broadcast. I'm really excited about that, and I'm just excited to have baseball back. Thanks for doing this. No, we're happy to have you with us, part of the family, like always. Thanks. Appreciate it, Coach. Go Cougars. Hey!